Hey, welcome to the Christ Revealed YouTube channel. I got a great interview coming up for you. Really great to be here with you. Enjoy this interview. So we're sitting here right now uh, in the hills around Jerusalem. I guess Jerusalem's pretty close to here. I mean, you're almost looking across at it, I think. So you spent most of your life in this area. Yeah. Yeah. Now you've also seen a lot of changes because uh, you've lived your whole life here. Yeah. Uh, and you were also in the military and, and you, how many wars have you been in? In five. Of five the wars. wars. Wow. So what was that like? Um, you know, as you're, so here you are, you're the first generation in the Holy Land that your father came here. And, uh, you know, you have a small community that, you know, believe in the Messiah. And uh, then the wars come and you're fighting side by side, of course, with other Israelis. Uh, what was the experience trying to defend the Holy Land? You know, first of all, you know for what you are fighting. Yeah. This is very important, and mainly as a park trooper, you know, he, if it, the first war was 67 war. Yes. And uh, for me, the reality of Jerusalem was every day. Yeah. As, as, a, as a child, a small child, you know, the shooting, the legionnaires yes. were shooting from the walls, right? And you wake and <laughs> everything is under you. And we were driving from Jerusalem, for instance, to Tel Aviv. Whenever we started getting down the slope, all of us, we had to bend down in the car because they were shooting from what we call today, Nebi Samuel. Uh, they had a machine gun. Yeah. I mean, the main road was just under the machine gun wow. of the legionnaires, right? And this is this is prior to 67 that, that Before happened. Before 67? Yeah, wow. Yeah. Because Jerusalem was under Arab control then. All around us. Yeah. All was surrounded. Yeah. All surrounded. And in those days, the reality really, really was if you grow in such a city, right, that uh, it's, it's like <laughs> no air. Yes. No air. You make a little mistake like we were, we were walking to Ramat Rachel one day. And just shooting, just shooting, shooting on us, and you start finding something to, uh, to hide. It was, but nobody saw that there is going to be any solution to this. And that's why I was born in a hospital, Hadass Hospital, mm -hmm. on Mount Olives. Mm -hmm. But it fell into the hands of the Jordanians. Mm -hmm. So Ben Gurion decided to build another Hadassah. Uh -huh. He built another Hadassah which is Ein Karim. And he finished it in 1966. Mm -hmm. Okay, I remember this year, I remember the celebrations. Nobody knew that in one year, everything is going to change. Wow. You see? Mm -hmm. I remember they celebrated, they put the model of Jerusalem. There is a beautiful model of Jerusalem in 70 AD. Uh -huh. It was ready in 1966. Wow. And first time you stand there, I was like 19 years old, and you see the model, and you see all what happens in the Arabic area that we never saw it yeah, right. because we were on the Jewish side. Right. A year later, 67 wars started. Wow. Look, I belong to the Partupers. I was in regular, in regular army. Uh, we were fighting in Egypt. You know, others were fighting. Other my brothers were fighting against Syria army. Jordan was not supposed to be at all in this story. Mm -hmm. And King Hussein made, somebody will say mistake, but I think it was God <laughs> pushed him to enter to the war on Monday. Yeah. He entered 12 o'clock at noon, and that's what brought Israel to conquer the West Bank wow. and to release Jerusalem. And suddenly to be back, you see, the road to Jericho. Look, this was prophetical days, I have to say. Well, this, and this is my question. So with your faith and, and also being in the military, uh, do, you, do you feel or did you experience uh, or you know, do you see God's intervention into all this? Uh, because do you see what you were able to do in the Six-Day War, for example, as miraculous? Very, very exactly. Like it defies logic. Uh, definitely. I, wa I, I want to tell you, I, ne I was open believer, mm -hmm. totally open. Because for me, the Lord is number one in everything. Yes. So it's not that I try to do... Ma, 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 da, da, da. No, this is very, very strong. Yes. So as, as a even young commander, right? And then officer, you know, my faith is part of me. Yes. So in 67, war, I have to say that actually what happened to the soldiers themselves, I could almost catch them, gluing them. Uh -huh. They wanted me to teach them Bible. 
later on in, in Yom Kippur War, six years later, 73, I was really giving Bible studies deep, deep in, you know, where we have been in Africa. Uh -huh. Because suddenly people, and even regular people, they felt that what we pass is something prophetical. Yes. You see, I don't speak about the religious people. Uh, and again, to be part of all this, to teach them Ezekiel 38, 39. I can tell you things you can believe that I'm st what I passed. I if you put my name in, in Google, you will find a lot of sharing about the war, what I passed in the wars. Um, no doubt, I, I, I feel, I feel myself, now I'm, I passed 70, right? Yeah, yeah. I feel 50, 40, <laughs> I don't know. But I passed 70, yeah. that uh, the way that God led me in this country all my life, this is something that I have a lot of responsibility mm -hmm. with this past. You understand? Yes. Lot of responsibility. Mm -hmm. um, it's, you know, when people talk about biblical miracles and so on, I was witnessing again and again and again. That's it for this particular interview. Thanks for joining me. Really excited to take this ongoing journey with you as we keep bringing more content. If you haven't already, you really should subscribe to this channel. There's a lot of phenomenal content coming down the road into the future that you'll want to know about. Leave a comment down here. I think people would love to hear from you and then you can hear from them too. If you liked it, go ahead and give a like. It only takes half a second and share this with people that you care about. The world needs more light in it right now. So thanks for being with me. Hope to connect with you again soon. Thank you.